years in today's video we will be learning about the piping interview questions guys we will see the different type of piping interview questions asked in the interviews and we will learn about uh, how to secure a good job in a good company so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video and start this learning journey on piping interview questions so guys today the first question in our video is how is a pipe selected so uh, while selecting a pipe a designer has to do a lot of research and then only he can select a pipe so pipe is selected based on the type of fluid that will be flowing through the pipe the pressure and temperature of the fluid and flow of the fluid so these are the uh, three things basic things which a designer has to know before a pipe has to be selected after that based on these three things we select the size material and thickness so all these factors are helpful uh, while we select a pipe and we take into consideration while the pipe is selected next is guys what is a pig in pipeline so pig or what is a pigging process in a pipeline so pig is it is a device that moves inside a pipeline in order to do the cleaning so uh, while do while we are doing this maintenance purpose and uh, in some pipelines uh, there should there are some debris or some contaminations that stays in the pipe so in order to remove those contaminations uh, this pigging is done and it remove any debris from the pipeline and it maintains its efficiency so this is the uh, process uh, is known as pigging and it is done with the help of a pig next question is guys how does the cavitation affect pumps life so cavitation you would be knowing so cavitation is the biggest enemy of your pipe uh, your, your pump and if a pump is not selected properly and not designed properly and your, your piping is not done properly so your pump will have a shorter life and one of the most basic reason because of that will be the cavitation so cavitation uh, effects cavitation causes a vibration in pump so there will be vibration in your pump and uh, your pump can fail because of dynamic loadings uh, next is it will it will damage your impellers because the oxygen bubbles will burst directly on the impellers and it will cause pitting so you have to change the impellers repeatedly next the, it will be there will be heavy noises because there will be uneven distribution of water and those bursting of bubbles inside the impeller will cause high noises inside the panel uh, inside the impeller so these are the uh, three things there are other things but these are the critically most important three things which will uh, be done when there will be a cavitation in your pumping system next is guys what is the need of a steam trap in a pipeline so yes one of the important question so steam tra trap if you are coming for an oil and gas interview or any power plant interview so you should be knowing about steam trap so steam trap is basically it is provided inside the pipelines uh, in order to separate your condensate and steam so why we separate condensate and steam because uh, the steam because that water that uh, if our uh, steam is going to some processes and we won't allow the condensate or that uh, saturated steam into the process so that water has to be repeatedly or rather condensate has to be repeatedly removed from the steam so that is done with the help of a steam trap uh, next question guys what is a static and dynamic load in a pipeline so a static load is applied slowly so that there would be time to distribute this load uh, static means uh, uh, it will not change with the time it is the basic definition and dynamic means the dynamic load will change quickly with the time so that there won't be any time to distribute this load and it will cause uh, it will it will cause pipe movement so this is the uh, two loadings that we generally take into account while we are doing analysis in a pipe static loading and dynamic loading let's move on to the next slide guys so next question is what are the potential reasons of pumps vibration so today's video basically contains more of the questions related to pumps so if someone is going for a pump interview questions a pump interview so you can check this video and learn it from it so what are the potential reasons of pump vibration so i told you that pump vibration is one of the reason because of which there can be many number of problems in your pumps and ultimately even your pump can get failed so overloading of a pump a reverse rotation of the pump impeller rubbing inside the casing if the if the if your pump is misaligned your shafts of the pump are misaligned if your bearing is damaged if your shaft is again a shaft run out or it is misaligned or if your shaft is imbalanced so all these things and one of the important reason is if there is cavitation inside your pump so if all these things account for the pump vibrations and pump vibrations can lead to pump failure and it will lead to bearing failures and a number of problems that your pump can face so uh, these are the main potential reasons for pump vibrations moving on to the next what is the difference between pipes and tubes 
so again a very basic question but important one so pipe uh, pipe you guys would be knowing pipe we uh, are both pipe and tube both are cylindrical hollow structures which are used for fluid transportation but they differ in dimensions and manufacturing process so a pipe uh, is measured by its uh, inside diameter and wall thickness so generally a pipe is given by your nominal bore while a tube is measured by outer diameter and wall thickness so this is the basic difference between both of these two um, pipes and tubes so by uh, differentiating from this two only we differentiate that a pipe and a tube uh, are, are having a differentiated thing uh, moving on to the next question what type of reducers are used in pump suction and discharge so in pump suction side we use eccentric reducer uh, you would be knowing why eccentric reduction again we don't want to have cavitation in our pumps and so uh, that uh, because of this we use eccentric reducer we have a video on eccentric and concentric reducer we will put a link here in i button you can check that video and in discharge we use concentric reducer so this type of different these two types of uh, reducers are used in pump suction and discharge so moving on to the next slide guys mm, what are the various factors um, uh, that must be considered while routing pipe underground so uh, you would be aware that yes sometimes we have to do our underground piping because uh, we don't have pipe racks there or maybe the line is not so critical but yes so in underground piping we must avoid flange joints so why flange joints are avoid because in flange joints uh, first of all it will be very difficult uh, to tighten the flange in the underground portion and if there is a gasket leakage then your pipe will leak in underground uh, in undergrounds next is uh, the minimum pipe size uh, that must be rooted underground must not be less than 1 inch why because the pipe may be collapsed because of the earth load so that's why your pipe should be um, generally greater than 2 inch uh, then you should go for underground the buried pipeline must be protected from corrosion and also freeze protection must be done for outdoor piping so so you know when the pipe will be underground there will be some moisture in the ground and because of this your pipe may corrode get corroded over the time so generally when we do underground piping we provide some protection from corrosion some some epoxy coatings are done on the pipes because of with the help of those op uh, epoxy coatings and the the corrosion on the pipe can be prevented and these are the must when you go for underground piping and secondly the underground piping must be sufficiently buried under the ground why because let's say if there is some heavy load moment and your pipe is not buried properly then it may be case because of that load your pipe may get damaged and it may start leaking so these are the factors that we must consider while we are going for an underground piping uh, next question guys describe the process flow diagram so process flow diagrams are the basic drawings or the basic diagrams or you may call the one of the first drawings that we prepare when we start engineering for any process uh, industry so it what what does it show it sh it shows the unit and unit operations and unit processes so all the you all the units or or all the processes are shown in one sheet and they are linked with the arrows and on the on those arrows we mention the flows and uh, generally it also tells the brief sequence of the flow that how the flow will take place in the plant so this is the process flow diagram or generally known as pfd in a industry uh, next is guys what is a static suction head in a pump so static suction head so static discharge head is the vertical distance between pump center line so let's say if this is your pump center line and you have to pump your water here so let's say up to here so this this vertical line uh, from your pump center line up to the level to which you have to deliver the water is your static head basically this is your static head uh, next is guys explain the set pressure so it is the inlet pressure at which a safety or a relief valve is adjusted to open so the set pressure is the pressure at which your safety valve or relief valve will get opened so that your system doesn't get damaged in case of over pressure uh, or the pressure um, exceeds the design pressure of the system so we provide a uh, safety valve and that safety valve opens up or cracks up when the system pressure or the design pressure reaches certain limit so that pressure uh, when the safety valve or relief valve is opened it is known as uh, set pressure so this set pressure is without any back, back pressure on the discharge of the valve so this is the uh, set pressure so guys i hope 
you would have learned from today's video and uh, would uh, be uh, go when you would be going for a piping interview questions you would be able to answer them very quickly so guys thank you for watching the video for more videos please like follow and subscribe to our channel